What's up everybody? As always, hello and welcome to the Car Passion channel. I am Greg and today I'm going to be showing you how to install fender braces on your Miata. For this install you'll need basic hand tools, Allen wrenches, a few different size sockets. Uh, torque wrench is helpful but not absolutely necessary. You will need a drill but it's only one little hole per brace and I'll show you exactly how to do it. It's super easy, I promise. Go ahead and pop your hood and if your car is an NA, go ahead and pop up your headlights as well. You then have four bolts on the top of the fender, which are easily removed. Open your door. You see another bolt hiding back there. Go ahead and remove that. You want to turn your wheel, and you don't have to have a jack. But I just jacked it up so it's a little bit easier for you guys to see. And you only have to loosen that a little bit. The fender actually slips off of that tab without taking the nut all the way off. This is where that long extension comes in handy. Underneath the fender you have a few more 10 millimeter bolts that will have to be removed all the way. If you have fender tab bolts, you're gonna have to remove those as well. My life is easy because I just have a BWR quick release system on mine. Just basically helps keep this in place when I'm driving the car. I have my bumper tabs shaved uh, to fit these big tires on here with a little bit more aggressive offset. So just when you thought it was going to be that easy, Mazda decided to add one bolt and make it really difficult to get to. So some people take the whole front bumper off to get to this bolt, but I'm gonna show you how to do it without removing the bumper. You're basically gonna take all of the top mounting bolts of the bumper, at least on this side, completely off. So first thing I'm gonna do is take my cooling plate off. A couple more 10 millimeter bolts on the bumper. And right in front of the headlight, there's one more 10 millimeter nut there. You're gonna need that long extension one more time to get to those two nuts right there. Now that the bumper's completely loose, just barely pry it away like that. And as you can see, there's our last bolt for the fender. You're gonna need a regular wrench for this. Those two bolts that you removed that were up underneath the fender, there's a little metal plate that you have to pry away. It's very easy to do. Once you do that, you're ready to remove your fender. This is that metal plate I was talking about that you have to bend out of the way. Basically the fender gets sandwiched in here like this. So you have to bend this plate up in order to pull the fender off of these studs. So now that I have the fender off, let me go ahead and explain what a fender brace is and what it does. So this is a fender brace. This one in particular is made by Garage Star. Very good quality piece. And I know the fitment is very good because I already installed the one on the other side. I don't have experience with any other fender braces on the market, but I can tell you that this is a very good quality piece. So basically, you have what's called the front clip of your car. And the front clip is everything from the firewall forwards. It houses the engine, it's got the front subframe, and then behind the front clip, you have the cabin. And in between the cabin and the front clip, the structure is strong, but it's not all that rigid. So what a fender brace does, is it mounts up two mounting points on the back where the door hinges go and it's got two mounting points on the front uh, the front clip and it braces any vertical movement between the cabin and the front clip so you're gonna get that type of flex on uh, you know hard corner exits anytime you're going through dips in corners or things like that basically anytime you're steering or changing direction pretty much you can get flex in that area so what the fender braces do is it minimizes that and a lot of people think when you start to make your car stiffer, it's gonna ride worse, but it's actually just the opposite because when you brace the chassis properly, your suspension can do its job better. So when you hit a big bump and your wheel takes the hit and it goes through the suspension, you don't want that energy to go into the chassis. You want it to be completely absorbed by the suspension. So that's what bracing can really help with and your car can actually ride better if it's braced properly. Make sure that your door is closed and next you're going to remove both bolts from the bottom hinge and the bottom bolt from the top hinge. You also have to remove these two 10 millimeter bolts right behind the tire. 
Now you remember I told you you're gonna have to drill one hole. That hole is gonna be right here. So what you wanna do is come over here on the other side. You can see where that blue tape is. That's where the harness comes through. You wanna make sure there's nothing over here that when the drill bit punches through, you're gonna damage. So if there is something in the way, you can go ahead and remove it. Uh, I've moved my harnesses and stuff around quite a bit, so I actually have free clear space back there. So when I punch the drill through, it's not gonna hit anything. Pull this harness out of the fender. This grommet kind of gets in the way when I put the brace on, so I just cut it off. Now you're gonna put the brace on and snug it up. We're gonna get ready to uh, drill that hole. The Garage Star braces come with all new hardware. I'm gonna go ahead and drop on a lock washer and a standard washer onto each one. The larger bolts are for the door hinges and the smaller bolts are for those little 10 millimeters that we removed earlier. Just hand tighten everything for now. Just tight enough so this thing is solidly in place. You want it located properly for when you drill your hole. For this step, you'll need a drill with a 5 16 drill bit. You're gonna drill the rearmost hole. You can see what I drilled there. So you have this plate here. You see how this little section is shorter than this section? The long part is gonna go towards the back of the car. Take this and it's gonna go inside the fender, right behind this. The bolt holes are gonna line up, and you're gonna use your Allen hardware to secure it. Completely tighten these Allen bolts. There's a look at the backing plate behind the fender. Go ahead and tighten up your door hinge bolts. If you're unsure of how tight to make them, you can use a torque wrench. The spec is 16 to 22 foot-pounds. The fronts I'm not too sure on, but I'd say about 14 foot-pounds. Just when you thought you were gonna put the fender back on and be done with it, you go to open your door, and it doesn't close right, so you're gonna have to realign it. Open the door a little bit, go floor jack underneath, and just go very, just until it touches the door. Loosen up those door hinges. You're gonna jack the door up just a fraction of an inch. Snug those all up again. Lower your jack. Perfect. After you get your brace on, you're ready to reinstall the fender, which is literally just the exact reverse order of how you removed it. I'm just gonna to touch on a couple key pointers that will help you get it back into place. So this is the front of the fender. And this, this piece right here is gonna slide in between here. So before you put the fender on, you gotta kinda bend this out of the way and you gotta slip the front of the fender in there. At the back of the fender you have this tab which actually has an open hole there. That's gonna slide in here. So you can leave this nut installed, just leave it loose. And that little fork is gonna slide right in between the nut and this tab and then you can tighten it up later. Don't forget about this troublemaker up in front, the one that you have to pull the bumper away for. Well, I had to take this thing on a little nighttime canyon run to test out those braces. Uh, pretty much first impressions are exactly as the reviews are uh, online. First thing you notice is a lot less vibration in the front end, and that's really important for a daily driven car. The front end feels a lot more solid, and especially when running a lot faster in the corners when you're hitting bumps and stuff, the front end, just it just feels solid. And a lot of times it's, it's not about a part that can mechanically make the car go around the corner faster. Sometimes it's just something like these braces that makes the front end feel more solid and it gives you more confidence and it, the car's just more fun to drive. So of course I gotta hook you guys up. Go to garagestar.com, drop these things in your cart, Coupon code Garage Star Fender Braces. It's gonna give you a nice little discount on these things, and I'm, I'm a fan. I've been waiting to get these things for a long time. I can't believe I've waited this long to finally pick them up, and it's definitely worth it. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you like the videos. I'm gonna be filming some Broken Boosted this weekend. Uh, plan on seeing that beginning to middle of next week, and until next video, I'll catch you soon.